Hi, it's Liz from Liz's Paper Loft, and I have had quite a few questions on if I could show you guys how to make a spinner or a slider card um, that I posted a couple days ago. And so this is the card that I posted for um, a couple of um, challenges. And so here we go. I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay. So I already have everything that I'm going to do. Um, it's already ready to go and put together. So or not put together, but um, cut out. So first of all, what you're going to do is this is for an A2 size card. Anyway, um, sorry, my daughter took my tripod, so I'm having to use a different one. Anyway, um, you know, just cut in half and put there. And then you're going to take um, a little bit of smaller size and I think I cut this at four and a quarter by five no I'm sorry five and a quarter by four and an eighth is what I did so we're gonna go ahead and attach that to this to the card base and I'm just gonna use my ATG because it's quick and easy and I probably won't put it on straight because I usually don't want to use it. Hmm, not bad. And I inked all the edges too. I like the look of the ink. So go ahead with that. And then I cut another square with Plant and School Book on my Gypsy. And what I did is I cut, it is, um, all the sizes will be on my blog, but um, it actually measures out to about four and three three quarters by three and three quarters and then I put um, welded a little um, slot in the center of it so I actually cut this out on, with my Cricut and so what you do is you take this and some foam tape and you're going to go around the edges of it like this and it doesn't have to go all the way around, but just enough to give it some support. Give it some support. Let's speak clearly. Oh, I don't need that much there. So let's cut that in half. And this is just black foam tape that I actually cut down the center because it was so wide and I didn't want to waste it all. So I trimmed it down a little bit. And then you want probably just one in the center and you can kind of turn it over and see how it's going to go. And I think that's, I think that's secure enough. Okay, so here's what you do. I'm going to have little a bowling ball as my spinner and then the pins. I'm going to go right here. So, this is how this is so this is the trick. Watch the magic. <laughs> I'm going to take a penny, one little penny. And in the center of the penny, if I can find my tweezers. Oops, there they are. I'm going to take it and just put a regular old pop dot. Now it's got to be fairly thick. You can see that. It's got to be fairly thick. And that, and this needs to be in the center, which I'm a little bit off, but I think it'll be okay. And that, whoops, I used the wrong size. Ah, huh, see what happens? The pop dots I use, I don't know what brand they are. Oops, I can't say that one. But anyway, they come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And I need the small one to fit through that slot. And you only need one. Yep, that's right there in the center. Good. And you stick that through the slot and see how it slides really easily. And then, this my little bowling ball. Now, when I cut it out, I wasn't thinking. I cut the holes out, and if I had put that on here, you would see right through it. So I just put a little piece of red behind it since 
red goes with the little bowling pins. Okay, so now you're going to take, so you have your penny, and then you have your, the slot with all your foam tape on, and you're going to put that straight through there, and then go ahead and take the top off, and then put the stand up to do this. Put, try to get that right in the center. And I am way off. So you can try it again. So I'm going to try right there. Well, that's much better, I can tell already. Yep. Okay. So that goes there. And now, whoops, sorry, my makeshift tripod is falling. <laughs> I'm going to pull off my foam tape. And then um, pull it all off. <laughs> I'm trying to anyway. are really fun cards. I hadn't made one for years and then the circle um, blog was having a challenge for an interactive card and so I thought oh a slider card or a spinner card or whatever you want to call it and I never look at what people make when there's challenges because I don't want to get um, influenced by what I see and sometimes that happens so sure enough there was several of them on there. Anyway Okay, let me stand up to do this. I think that's straight. A little bit off. Okay, and now I'm going to put on my little bowling pins and use my favorite three-in-one glue. Have them hanging off a little bit. Gives it some more room to spin. Let me place that one there. Let's see. And I kind of want to pop him up, but that might be might get stuck. So I'm not gonna pop him up. I think he'll be okay in the center. Isn't that cute? I use my peachy keen faces. And look at that. Oops. How about we bring this up a little bit so you can actually see. Happy thoughts are coming your way. Isn't that cute? And what I used for that are the stamps. I used Emma's uh, Just a Little Note to Say, and I used um, Peachy Keen's Dolly, Dumpy, Dolly Dumpling Faces. And there you go. That's it. That's it. Anyway. Thanks for watching. This is Liz at Liz's Paper Loft, and all the sizes will be on my blog for the actual um, cut sizes. Okay? And have a great day. Bye bye.